me i was once there i know they will use scriptures they will use scriptures to back everything up for uh, in this video i'm going to show you about three videos one is just uh a prelude to it i've shown you before but i'm just going to play two minutes of it and the second one is the apostles uh thick um you know prophecy that was proven to be fake and how it was exposed to be fake will be the third video that i'm going to play for you in this short video don't go away You are welcome to the End Time Truth Television, the channel for the lovers of truth, for the truth of the end time. So if you are a lover of truth, give us a subscription and God bless you. Shalom. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. How are you doing? God bless you today. I bring you greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I hope this video meets you well. Yes, this is the part two of the video I did earlier, um, where you saw pa former pastor Joy Increase, a former pastor in OFM, you know, talk and um, give an insight into what some of the so called prophets of our time are doing. You know, why you must need to take her seriously is because she was an insider and she was um, a top worker, one of the senior leaders in a certain prophetic church. And so if you have not watched that video, I'm just to give you a few minutes of that, about two minutes of what she said. Then I will want to ask you to check for the video here and, um, you know, Watch it here. So here is it. When you're when you're a clergy, you stand in a position of a pastor, and all you do all day is to lie the seats. And I'm going to give you guys some insight into some of these prophecies that this some of this they are genuine prophet though. So I always like to use some so that you don't think there are no real prophet and so that when you go to most of this prophetic ministry you don't fall for their trap when you see the signs you quickly that's okay um favor you quickly jackpa and know that uh -uh. now when you go to most of this prophetic ministry this is what they're going to tell you to do first some group of people not the the, the founder itself some group of people will come to you and be like oh like they are having a program like a crusade some of them have two days crusade some of them have four like four section crusade and i will tell you how it works during their crusade in the morning section they have different pastors who will come and come and you know preach to stir up the mind of the people that came to see the prophets mm -hmm. What I'm about to tell you people is I open now to stir up the people that are coming to see the prophets. When they come, they will tell you to write your they will tell you to write your you know they will tell you to write your problems. Most of the assistant pastor, why the major major prophet will be sitting down in his hotel. They will tell you to write your problems. So you, you will write all your problems, ah, all your wala that you have. You will write all of them. All right, you're highly welcome. So in this one, I'm not going to speak so much. I will just allow action to make itself louder. Because they say action speaks louder than words. So action will speak for you here. You're going to see a certain prophet, Mabaso, Apostle Dr. A.N. Mabaso. He said to be a doctor. Uh, in fact, he's an aesthetic doctor that operates, that has two hospitals in South Africa. And one of such hospitals is actually based in Johannesburg. Now, when you look at his background, it looks to me like he is not actually poor. Then when you now ask yourself, what could now be his drive? As in, well, let me not preempt what I want to you know, show you first. 
watch first, then you will be the judge to tell us whether that is true or not, whether the story of a former Pastor Joy Increase fits in well with the video I'm about to show you. I'll be seeing you at the end of the video. Thank you so much and God bless you. I say, let that gem die now. You, ma'am, you, 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 and you. Do you know each other? Come. Stand there. When I said every gem, where are you from? When I said every gem, God said, call those two. Yes. I know. Amen. 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 Thanks to God. Amen. You are from good. Mozambique. Amen. God is good. You came all the way from Mozambique to here or you are staying around or you are just from strictly from Mozambique? Straight from Mozambique. You are straight from Mozambique. Yes. Is there a place called Beria? Beria. Beria in Mozambique. What? Beria. 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 Because I heard something like Beria. No. Beria. Beria. There is a place, but I'm not from there. I'm saying, do you, is there, you know that place? No. Beria, no. You don't know that place? No. Where are you from? From Shokwe, Gaza. My friend, but have you heard of a place in Mozambique called this name they say? I know that place. I know that name. Yeah. Listen to me. Listen to me. Yes. I'm saying you are held there. You, you, you went to the doctor. Yes. They told you you have TB. Yes. You don't get treatment. And you are on treatment. Yeah. Yes. I'm doing it. I'm telling you, this is more than TB. Yes. Professor, amen, of God. Sometimes the demon makes a presentation and gives something a name. So that the doctors can make a diagnosis. Professor Iman. And say you have TB. Professor you have Iman. this. But the truth of the matter, there is a demon behind it. Professor Iman of God. The place I'm telling you, that's where you are held. You hear what I'm saying? Yes, I hear. That's where you are held. Professor Iman of God. Because I'm looking at the doctor's report. I won't read the details. I got it. Uh, yeah. I, got the doc I know what is written on your report. Yes. All right. Yes. You don't even have to show me. Yes. But I know. Nefed is not only TB, there's another disease. I won't discuss it. Yes. But there's another disease written on the report. Yes. All right. I'm saying that devil is about to die. Amen. Thanks to God. Help me, help me. Whatever devil that is attacking you is about to die. Help us, men of God. Help us, men of God. Help God is going to heal you. Help. God is going to deliver you. Help us. Help us, please. Hmm? And not only you, even your wife. 
Yes. God is going to deliver the two of you. Yes. Sir. You are coming out of this nonsense. Today is your day. Yes. You are coming out. Amen. Ines. It's her name. Yes. Tell Ines Inesh. she's coming out. Inesh. It's her name. She cannot speak in English. She cannot speak English. Hallelujah. Amen. No, please relax. She doesn't hear. She, the man is going to interpret. I can see where they are in the spirit. The man will tell her what I'm saying. Hey, I know somebody is angry now and somebody is, is going to stone me. What is fake in this? Well, the next video will prove it, please. Thank you so much. Watch this next video and then you will tell us what you understood about it. And yeah. Hello, Jay. How are you? Uh, I'm doing well. Thanks to God. Okay. Uh, it is sometimes difficult to start. But first of all, I would like to apologize. My English is not good. I'm from a country which we don't speak English. So we learn it somehow. But what I want to say about this man, he disappointed me 100%. In, 19, in 2018, 16, 16 December, I went to Alf Lukau. It was a night of power. I do remember it very well. So... It was Friday. On that Friday, it was I was there with my wife after service. On Sunday morning, I went to run back to this charlatan, this man of God here. I don't know if it's a man of God or, or it's a charlatan. I went to run back because I used to see him before. When he was was in Hallelujah, what 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 was what is that church there? It's the over Rain Ministry. So I used to know him. I used to watch his video resurrecting some babies, some what, 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 something like that, stuff like that. So I went there. It was 18 December. I have a video where, where I was prophesied. But during the prophesy, I, 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 I was like he, something he was not saying it well. So he asked me something and I didn't answer him because I had no answer. I remember, okay, let me start another one. Let me start another one. But don't, don't, don't talk about this. Don't talk about this voice note before because otherwise you can clean or delete the video on Facebook. He prophesied me on 18 December 2018. 2018, yes, it was 2018. I was there on, in Randbeck in his church early in the morning. I found a lady there called the minor. It's minor, yes, it's minor. Then she gave us some forms to fill for prayer requests. Look here in my here in Mozambique. I'm from Mozambique. Here in Mozambique, we don't use like station two, station one. We use biro, premier biro, second biro, tercer biro. Like when I say station one, I we call premier biro. When I say station two, we we mean second biro. So I was there. I wrote there something like this, King to Bayro. So when when he was prophesying over me, he asked me something. Do you know Beira? 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 I started to, I was confused what he wanted to, what, what he wanted to say when he asking me, when he was, when he was, he was asking me about Beira. But after a while, I realized that he saw something there on my prayer request where I, I wrote King to Bayro, meaning station five. So he started telling me something, a lot of things, but none of them happened, especially when it goes to the sickness, because I will be honest to you, I'm sick. And I wrote everything, those, 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 I wrote everything in that prayer request. So during his, during his prophecy, prophets, he mentioned everything and he said you are healed, but still now I'm still sick, nothing happened. He talked also about the baby because we, I don't have baby. Everything I wrote in that paper, he prophesied. But nothing happened. Nothing so far.
and i remember I, okay after this i will send you the the the, the video i saved it on facebook then i will uh, you will see me there you will see me there i will send you my pictures then you will see me there you will see him prophesying over me but nothing happened yeah thank you he was forcing me to say i know baira bairo baira but i know what he confused him because i wrote portuguese and he was not even able to write to read that portuguese so i i wrote bairo that is written oh it's written bairo so he was trying to read but as he's not a portuguese speaker he was saying bairo 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 but that was was false so i was forced to think because here in mozambique we have a place called Beira, but it's too far i don't know Beira. it's too far and by the moment my boss my manager i, I work at the bank my boss was from Beira, but it was i have no relationship it was just a person who was always drinking always doing his things his stuff and we, we had no we're friends nothing was wrong with us so he was saying Beira. what what is there is the way we held where it where it comes okay let's see let me be honest i'm sick i'm hiv positive for example or let me be let me do like this i'm hiv positive so he said it's where i'm held hiv positive is not from beira it's not someone who can help me it's something that i got here in this world so how he says it's there where you were you were held it's false. So you are highly welcome. You know, as I was trying to, you know, tell you some things about the man. He says to be a medical doctor and an anesthetic physician. And uh, like I said earlier, that he has two hospitals, one in Dobson and uh, Dobson Soweto, another one in Johannesburg City Center. And he's also said to be a shareholder in several companies within the city and the nation. Now, so you look at it, like I, I was trying to point out, should we also say it was money that, you know, should push a man towards that path? Looking at him, actually, you wouldn't want to believe that what you saw there is true if you didn't see the video. Now, I'm not here to tell you to believe it or not, but I've shown you the video and I will let you be, you know, tell us what you saw, tell us what you think. Tell us, do you think that the man, you know, in the video was lying? I wouldn't know, you know, I wouldn't know who would, but uh, I mean, use that kind of situation that he is HIV, he was HIV positive and he's still HIV positive while he was, you know, talking to Jay Israel. And speaking about Jay Israel, you know, even though that he, he said he has down tools, which is his perfect decision and nobody should malign him for that. Nobody should hold him. Um, I, I, how do I put it now? Nobody should um, begrudge him for that. That is the right word. Nobody should begrudge him for that. You know, we still cannot actually wish away what J. Israel did. Even though that in the recent time, he has been coming up with some kind of strange things. But at the same time, I want to ask you to pray for J. Israel. Now, so I will leave you to, you know, give us what you think. But I promised you I was going to tell you my story. I've told it often. But for those of you that are coming new to this channel, this is the story. The story here was that several years ago, 2002, 2002, there was uh, an unfortunate incident that happened in our family. I lost a dear brother. And, uh, you know, that was 2002, July 27, 2002. And uh, the following year, November 14, or there about 2003, another one followed. Now, in the, you know what it is like. And so the... There was a kind of fear amongst us who would be the next and actually you know um before that 2003 even while we were still you know running around for the burial of uh, the one that died in 2002 i went to a city to get something with my bike and as i was coming back a boss a boss faced me left his own lane and faced me head on i had to run inside the bush and lo and behold there was a very deep gully very close to where I veered off, for, you know, for me to run off the road for the bus to go through. Now, so it was terrible. Now, so um, while it, the, my second brother who died in 2003 was still in the mortuary, uh, there was this crusade that was held 
somewhere at Yanekpaja. If you're in Lagos, in Nigeria, you will know where I'm talking about. Yanekpaja, I won't mention the name of the ministry. I have huge respect for that ministry. Now, so what happened was that I attended that crusade. And just like Joy in crusade, there was money session. So I attended the money session. And while we were rounding off, the man asked for prayer requests, people to write down their prayer requests, write your name, write your address, fat, write everything down. He requested for all this. And meanwhile, you are also coming to, if you wanted to see him that morning, you were supposed to come with a seat. And the seat that time was airtime, airtime, and MTN specifically, because that was the major um, GSM network at the time, even till now. So, and uh, the the bigger or the higher the value of the airtime you, you brought, the more time you are given. So I, I, I don't remember if I gave either 500 naira or 750 because that was the range then. So um, in a half few minutes with him, but I dropped my prayer request, you know, I dropped my prayer request. So when we came back in the evening for the evening session, he started doing his things again because that was what he was doing. He was actually calling people, he was calling GSM numbers sometimes, he would call names, sometimes he would be so specific and would call address, you know. So what happened was that uh, sometimes in the middle of the service, he he started by, because I wrote everything. I wrote the name of my village. I even wrote my house address in Lagos. So he, he said, if you are from Anambra State, come out. You know, and there were many of us that came out. Now, so he started narrowing it down. And he said, if your surname is Okoli, stay back. Many people also stayed back. He went further. He said, if the, uh, your house address is 15, stay back. Nobody left. Uh, people were there, but nobody raised their hands up. Okay, raise, raise your hand up. That was what he said. So when nobody lifted their hands, me, I asked, I said, 15, is it in Lagos or in the village? He said, anywhere. Apparently, he has forgotten where that 15 is. He didn't know where the 15 is. He didn't know whether it was in Lagos because I wrote number 15, I get in Jawa Fast Street. And he is, is not a Yoruba man. Even if he was a, a Yoruba man, he may, he may have forgotten anyway. So I raised my hand up and then he asked the rest of people to go. I put my name. I put my local government of origin. I put my state. So he now said uh, that he saw. I, I, let, let me just be direct because I know I'm not dying soon. So he said he saw uh, a casket, a coffin covered with the name. He mentioned that name. And I said, that is my name. He said, and the thing was heading towards the local government area. I said, that is my, my, my local government of origin. You know, remember that time there was fear of death in the family and more so, you know, someone like me, you know. So there was tension, there was perplex, you know, perplexity. And that was what I wrote because I wrote that the Lord should not allow me to die young. Now, you see, even though that I came to understand what happened now, but I believed in that prayer that was made because the brethren that made that prayer that day, that night, they prayed with all their hearts for me. And God had that prayer. But eventually, um, now with the benefit of insight, I came to understand. Because, you know, and I now remembered what was happening, how he was calling me. Sometimes he will call names, he will not pronounce it well. And, and then, you know, you know that, that there was some form of imperfection, but... You know, for a man to call at least, call names, call phone numbers. We saw that he was reading it out from a paper. He didn't write, he had, he had his own. So to us, it was like maybe as God was revealing it to him in the office, he was putting it down. He was putting them down, putting them down. Unknown to us that he was actually reading what we gave to him back. I'm not going to mention his name, but he's still a prophet today. And I'm not going to mention the name of the ministry. That ministry was and is still a living church, Bible-believing church. But that, you know, the pastor there was deceived as human. Don't come and tell me that the pastor doesn't have this discernment of spirit. We cannot, we cannot always get it right. But eventually, what happened was that he was stopped from coming to that place. They stopped him from coming to that place from the headquarters. Now, so this is my story. Now, use it. I married the one you watched and what Joy Increase said. Now, tell us what you think. I'll be seeing you in the next video. Till then, from me to you. 
שלום.